Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic and this is another reaction to Nisi Monogatari. It is episode 8 and you know what to do as always, please go down into my description. You will find a link, replace the circumflex dot parts with real dots and enjoy the reaction. Once you've done, feel free to come back here to hear me out about this episode. See you soon. For those that came back, welcome back. Now. Okay, that was just weird. And I mean it was all of the episode. It was not like um, a bit that was completely <laughs> messed up. Okay, however, um, we knew there's a lot of fan service in here. But I never heard of this technique, you know? Never heard of that one. So, uh, let's see what, what we have here. Um, we had the, first things first, we had the intro of um, of the little sister of Tsuki, which I really like. Um, it's a very positive intro, it's funny, it's entertaining, um, it's very platinum, platinum good. Um, and I think it was the first time that I realized, because I never really checked it, that both of his sisters have uh, this this hair this he, that he has. I mean, it makes sense. It is a family. Um, so that was a good start and I thought like, yeah, we get to learn more about the little sister. But nope, instead this uh, episode is way more about the bigger little sister, about Karen again. Um, so we had him studying, which is nice to finally see him studying, although he seems to be struggling there and running um, in a loop um, on a place um, and then someone came in and nearly hugged him to death which I liked it was cool and I really really expected kind of because the series always was like that that <clears throat> she was like not dressed at all or in I don't know a swimsuit or something like that but in the end the um, the closest of her little sister which are a little bit too tight I guess um, is next to it so it's at least partially fitting um <clears throat> i liked his reaction however the fact that he states um that he thought she's bullied because she would never wear anything like that i mean we've seen her in those sports suits all the time which dressed her very well looked really good um so he thought about that and even when she denied it she, he still thought it and um kind of accidentally by saying so made her realize that he's protecting her that he's protective to her um which is nice which is interesting and he <laughs> he got the trap set that we all know if we are um in this world which is if a girl asks you do i look pretty this is not a question <laughs> this is no this is um this this is a tell me that I look pretty. You're not allowed to say anything else unless you're very, very good friends. Um, so he made the, the mistake of saying, eh, well, mm, like that. And then he had to answer yes, unless he wants to be killed. So he said that and she jumped him again. Um, we were close to... Um, no, we were not close to... We are already full in... Uh, creepy moments and even he said that that's a creepy moment you know we should stop because she was clinging onto him and in this moment I was kind of waiting that the little sister appeared and um, found them hugging oh found Karen hugging him more like that but she didn't so um, he then well during the talk mentioned that he knows Kambaru and she is completely in to Kambaru. So she is a part, she's a member of the fan club, it seems. Um, I ask myself if there will be like, um, like a relationship between her and Kambaru. Why not? It would be interesting. Um, because you would have a new, um, how to say it? Uh, you would have new relations between Aragi and Kambaru as well. And um, Senju Gahara and uh, Kambaru as well, because as you know, those um, Kambaru is uh, uh, likes her a lot as well. So that might might uh, <laughs> put some fire into the mix. Very fitting. Um, so it would be interesting uh, if they met 
and he was not having any of it. It's a typical big brother. Uh, thus, he knows that Kambaru likes girls. He's like, no, I will not um, show her my sister. Because in this case, it would be like feeding lamb to wolves. Although, I'm not sure who would be the wolf here. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. It, for me, it would be interesting to see. So, so he said, no, no chance. And uh, she instantly goes to violence. And uh, <laughs> that was cool. So, she did not just punch him. Uh, she used her hand to stab him into, I think, the kidneys. I'm not sure. Um... And as he said, if I don't give in to your requests, you instantly go to violence. Okay, uh, let's play a game. Let's play a game. And if you win, I will introduce you to each other. If you lose, I won't. So it's fair. Just the fact that the game is creepy like hell is a little bit weird. But I mean, it's Aragi. So what did I expect? Um... And then we had this endless running scene of brother-sister creepiness. So, I never heard of this, um, of like, uh, I, I mean, I know that I can understand that people are very delicate, are very um, holding back about who's allowed to touch your hair in the meaning of um, braid your hair or whatever, do with it, cut your hair and so on. Um, yes, that's something I can understand, um, because there are multiple reasons. Um, one of them is these persons have to go into your personal space, so very, very close to you. Um, that's the first step. The second step is it is on your head, which is even more personal, you know. It's, it's one thing if someone, I don't know, touches your belly or whatever, um, but your head is where all your sensory input comes from, so I guess that's why. And uh, then, for many people, their hair is very important because it is like a part of their, um, of what they look like. You know, we if you go onto the streets and you see people, we do not see the bodies of the people because we have on clothes. You see the hands and you see the head. And that's it in most cases, what you see from the person itself. You can see what in general the body looks like, you know. But... We know nowadays there are those moments when people take off their clothes and you're either like, uh, well, okay, cheating. Um, or you're like, what the heck? I never expected that. You know, people wearing baggy pants and white clothes and then looking like a sports freak underneath it. Um, so both sides are existing. Um, but the hair, so the head in general, but your hair is something you normally do not hide at least not for a long time, even when you wear a hat. Um, this one comes off from time to time and then your hair is one of those things that's always out in the open um, and that gives you... It's like an outfit, you know? So, if someone is allowed to mess with your hair, that means that this person is allowed to change what you look like. Possibly that's why. Going one further, with um, brushing your teeth, uh, well, it doesn't change your outward appearance, but um, in the end, you, saying you are allowed to do it, um, enter into the body of the person, which we only have in so many other ways, which are more neither all, uh, no, many of them are um, sexualized or are sexual, you know, uh, kissing um, is at least romanticized or even sexualized um, and every other orifice of our body normally goes only in something when you are having intercourse of whatever kind unless you're at a doctor and even then it's not like we like it you know if he's like now stretch and cuff <laughs> you're not like oh yay funny <laughs> for sure not so i can see the reasons that tooth brushing is very intimate if someone else does it. But I never thought about it. <laughs> never ever. So, maybe I will try it later on in some weeks or months, I don't know. We will see. Um, yeah, so he did, um, he did it on her. 
and um, as we all know it would be happening it was um, creepy and it went further and further she got off on it no question there it was clearly to see he got off on it because she got off on it which is in my opinion one of the best ways of um, having fun if you enjoy the other one having fun that's the way it should be um, and the music was incredibly good for this it was pu it's what pu yeah. bleh, bleh, bleh. it was pumping and um it went further and further we had a, like a crescendo in the end so really really well done um so it was this going to a mountain top effect like you are reaching like an orgasm in the end here it was close to um that was very well done um the fact that it's brother and sister is the one thing that was like, oh, come on, man. Seriously, do we have to watch this? Um, but well, that's how they are. Um, and in the end, when it was about to finish, when we were close to the crescendo itself, um, little sis just pumped in and <laughs> I liked it. I mean, you've seen it. You've seen me delighted by it because it was something to be expected somehow. And it made sure it did not went too far. Um, because he was close to doing it. Um, I like the... Uh, there were one or two things in that were um, very good. One thing is he mentioned his... Uh, there was a moment when he thought of his little sister like the most beautiful woman in the world. Well, as we all know, whenever someone is smiling, this person looks way more attractive. And way more interesting to us as it should be you know if someone is running around like this all the time he or she is not so interesting but if a person is smiling it lightens our mood as well and the person looks way more attractive there's um well if there's even a song about it you know called um uh, girl just just love just smile um because everyone looks better with this so that's one thing if someone is in um let's say in the mood to going further so if if the person is heating up while playing along um this seems to increase the uh how how the person looks like even more possibly because the blood is pumping and everything you know cheeks are turning red and whatever um the person looks way more attractive and third thing is he was in on that as well so it was be at least partially because of him so that is um uh, brushing his own ego so the person looks even more interesting um so i can see that he thought about this <clears throat> and in many ways if you have whatever kind of romantic thing running at the moment with someone it would be nice if at least in this moment the person would be the most beautiful one for you that's one thing interesting was this one for me because he then thought that his ideal girl always was Hanekava. so we have it as a statement his ideal girl when it comes to looking beautiful and everything is Hanekava, which as we know has no relationship with him at the moment um so hearing that from him in his thoughts is um putting on a little bit more fire on the relationship with Senju Gahara and this uh, uh, tri-star that we have, Aldeb, Deneb, Aldeir, Deneb, Vega, I think it was. Um, so, on the uh, relationship with Senju Gahara and Hanekava standing outside of it, but having a lot of uh, power over Senju Gahara as well. So, that one brings this to mind again. So, However, in the end, little sis catch them and made it very clear what, what was wrong about it. I mean, except the fact that it was brother and sister. So it is, how is it my big brother with a toothbrush in his hand is brushing the teeth of my sister, pushing her onto the bed and is about to grope her, um, smiling happily, one side. The other side, how is it that my big sister in my closest because that's the next weird thing. Because you could ask, is he pushing and, and playing with the bigger sister? Or due to the closest, even partially playing with the little sister? I mean, she is partially in there. 
So how is it she's wearing my clothes is being pushed onto the bed and brushed teeth with by her brother and seems to like it. Just wrong, you know? It's just wrong. And I really like the reactions. It's like, oh my, how is this happening? And then the fact that she's like the judge. Really good. Um, because right now they're in trouble for that. She could tell someone. Um, and so she went to get an awl, which... Um, as far as I know, it's kind of a needle, you know. What does she want to do with that? I mean, possibly punctuate them? I, I don't know. We will see what she is up to in the next episode. Um, and they ended off with, uh, well, Karen won the, fu uh, won the uh, game, so she will be introduced. But she made it pretty clear that she would be interested in playing the brushing game further. <sighs> Which is not good. However, they get along better now. Okay, and we all knew that this is um, a creepy season. Seriously, I can never tell anyone what I'm watching here. What the heck? Um, I mean, you who know this series, you knew what was coming. And you were like, oh, it's okay, it's a series, you're watching it, you don't know it. I cannot tell any friends of mine, even or even my family, you know, oh, yeah, yeah I'm watching this series where, no, wait, I will not tell you. Because that is just weird. <laughs> However, it was entertaining, as always. It was very well done. Um, still dig the uh, graphical design. And um, as I said, the music was incredibly good this episode. Really, really um, nice one. So, we will see what happens in the next episode. I guess we will then focus a little bit more on the little sister. Um, because it should be about her, you know. And until then, please feel free to comment, like and subscribe. My name is Relax and Panic. Goodbye and out.